right, gonna be able to kill Nox right there. What's up guys, the began here, and today I am playing Anubis in the solo lane. Looks like I'm gonna be against the Raw, because on our side we have me as Anubis in the solo lane, Guan Yu as our support, Raw as our mid laner, Shibalonke as our hunter, and Thor as our jungler. On the other side we have a Nox in the mid lane, Raw in the solo lane, Sirket in the jungle, Shibalonke also in the hunter, and Kabraken as the support. Alright. I could go Lost Artifact for a bit more damage, but... Hmm, let's see. Well, mostly for the MP5. This actually has more power. But Tiny Trinket I prefer on Anubis just because of the lifesteal Anubis needs as it goes very well with his passive. Alright, let's see. Let's go into the jungle right here and help him out with the speed buff. Go into the blue buff right after. I'm going to be probably be maxing my three first. Actually, I'm going to get to Raw, so I can actually max my one first. Just because Raw is not going to be aggressive in lane. When people are aggressive in lane, such as the Hercules or such, I don't like maxing one first because then they'll just kill me. Especially with Hercules. Hercules, he just like pulls you out of your one. It's, it's, it's terrible. So, I just go with my three in those situations. But on this situation, I'm going to go with my one. So, let's see. Let's wait for Thor. Thor. Thor is going to be going for his, the speed buff. Alright. Start out with my one. Of course, does the most damage. Hopefully, he doesn't hog this. If he does, it's it's okay. Okay, he's going to hog this one. I prefer when people hog the blue buff, but this is not going to be a big deal. So, it's okay. Let's go into the blue buff right here. Take a little bit of it. Life steal off of it with my one a bit. There we go. All right, I can go into my two right here if I want to catch out, catch him out early, but I'm not actually. Oh, it's actually a Nox in this soul lane. That's going to be actually a big difference. I'm actually gonna max my three first in this situation, just because her poke actually is quite a bit to deal with, when, especially when you're a Nubis. So all right, but if I can catch her out, I should be able to kill her because if she's snared, she can't use her one. So. Actually, I'm not even sure about that. We, we will see. Uh oh. Ah, I should have maxed my two right there, or put a level into my two so I could catch her off right that. That Thor wall probably would have been a good a kill. Nice job. nice job by the soul dual lane. Able to get a kill right there. Guan Yu doing quite a bit of damage early on as a support. Probably was the reason for that kill. The armor shred is a lot. Ow. Ow. No. Oh. She's just gonna consume that. So it's gonna mitigate most of that damage, unfortunately. All right. Consume. Eh, not gonna be able to kid take her out right there. Gonna be able to do some nice damage, however. Looks like she may go back right here. It'd be in her best interest to go back right here. I do have my ultimate now. Your middle tower is under attack. Sorry. Alright, she's going to consume a bit of that. I can land my two ults on her, it should be a kill. Ah, not gonna land my ult on her, or my two on her. Unfortunately, I'm gonna miss. That's okay, no problem. Uh oh. Ah. I'm just gonna get ganked by the Sir Cat right there. Your right tower is under 
I'm gonna pick up a ward. So I don't get caught out like that again. Gotta be careful of these circuit. I backed off a little bit because I they said be careful, but circuit does circuit has those dashes I need to worry about. Really can only be safe under the turret against circuit, unfortunately. Especially with Anubis. Anubis' biggest weakest weakness being, of course, he cannot move. He is so slow. As well as his one and ultimate completely ruining him in place. As you saw right there, I just nice ulted to job. see if I could at least get the knocks. Really didn't do too much damage to her, unfortunately. Alright. So Nox is unfortunately a little bit ahead of me now. Alright, I'm gonna do some damage to her right there. Not really maxing my one, so wasn't expecting too much out of that. Three. Okay, she's actually gonna hog that. So Nox actually got hog. That's actually going to be make a big difference later on in the game whenever she can't she she has to sacrifice one of her other abilities that aren't beads. Unless she doesn't go beads, which would be odd since beads are probably the best choice, the obvious choice when you're playing a character like Nox. Man, so much poke coming from this goddess. Silenced. Bye. Ah! Nox, please! Okay, she's gonna actually use her consume right here. Alright, gonna be able to kill Nox right there. She misplayed right there, putting her using her consume whenever I was not even hitting her. Just a misplay. Just like what caused me to die earlier in the game. All right, so I'm just gonna go back right here. Put another level in my one. Pick up my Bancross Talon. Going into my boots next. I wanna get Shoes of the Magi just because it provides lots of power. 40 power. Or actually, no, 65 power. I'm thinking of the other boots for physical. Yeah, 65 power, 20, 250 mana, and 18% movement speed. Movement speed, of course, useful. And that power is just so strong on Anubis, as his early game is very, very strong in lane. And since I got the advantage on Nox, which is what you need to do probably in this Your matchup, is because Nox actually has some abilities that kind of that shut down Anubis. But if you can get ahead early, it doesn't really make a difference. As your ultimate's actually kind of difficult to hit. All right. I should have wasted my three right there. Probably not my my best choice right there. She does have her silence up, so she may be able to use it on me. She's not going to use it, however. Ow. An enemy has been slain. Nox is probably main strength is having that poke and clear on a very short cooldown. But she gets her damage from as well. Gonna life steal a lot of it back up, however, with my three and my passive and my back on talent. So I'm just gonna back off a little bit right here. Let the minions clear deal with this. She's waiting. Uh oh. All right, gonna completely avoid that gank because of my because of my two able to mummify her. Probably still sitting right there, so I'm just gonna use my three from afar. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to go in because, of course, Sir Cat was hitting there the entire time. Oh, thought she was gonna go back a little bit. All right, Thor said he's gonna come for a gank. If he ults, it's a free kill on him on who knocks. His ult is, however, down. Nice job, nice gank by the Thor.
His wall really providing great setup for Anubis's mummify, as you saw. I managed to do some really nice damage. An enemy has been slain. It's like Thor's gonna see if he can go in on this. An enemy has been slain. Nice job. nice job by hit Thor. Coming in with the ult. Coming in with the dunk. Taking out the circuit. So the blue is up. We're just going to steal this. Oh, wait. No, the blue is down. Oh, I thought he was on the blue. That's why I thought it was up. I thought I thought he was standing on it, so I would have had vision that it's not there. But we're going to take the speed. Blue should be up momentarily as the speed has just gone down. We will see. Okay, Nox is still is just gonna be back here. I'm just gonna go back to base, pick up my full boots. There we go, and pick up my first level in purification beads, as well as a ward. Just so I can spot out the circuit ganks. As you saw, that last gank that circuit had, my ward had already died, so that was a kind of a problem. But got my mom, my mummify skills on point, and took her out. So. Just nice play by me. And sort of a misplay by her. Missing her. Missing her too. Or uh or her frenzy on me. Gonna miss those unfortunately. Alright. Enemy right. Need to be careful in the mid lane. Nox is missing. Not quite sure where she went. I'm gonna see if I can come over and get a gank in the mid lane. Look, looks like Nox has found her way into the mid lane. Easy kill on the Kabraken. Really, probably shouldn't have used my ultimate right there. gonna do some nice damage onto the Nox. The Basically completely forcing Nox back. She's probably she's gonna have to go back to base after that. Yeah, she went back to base. Use my three a bit early there. Could have waited right there, got the full wave. Ooh, and Raw's gonna take out half of their circuits HP. Alright, so I'm just gonna go back to base right here. Be right back. I'm gonna start going to my Spear of the Magus before I go into Chronos Pendant. Just because I like the, having the extra penetration early on on my abilities. Provide some nice damage. Thor should might as well just take it. Ra's not in the correct place in order to split that camp. Unless he wants to split it with me. I guess I'll split it with him. I want to split it. I want that XP, that gold. There we go. Gonna help me with blue right here. Right Alright. Looks like they pushed out my solo lane a little bit right there. No problemo. They're very far behind. They can't even. They pushed it this far, but they can't even stay up here and finish it off just because of how far behind they are. Let's see. Right. Circuit's in the mid lane. Let's see if we can do anything to help out this raw. He is raw. So raw's and raw's very very tanky for a mage. Nice job by the Thor. Circuit thought she was gonna get away right there. Oops. But Thor came down with the ultimate, making it so she had to stay in my ultimate, ruining her chances of getting away. Looks like we got a Kabraken coming in. Ooh, we're gonna do some nice damage onto the Kabraken. That's half his HP gone. Nox is still missing. I have no idea where she went. There she is. She just made her way to the mid lane. All right, Guan Yu's gonna be able to take out the mid harpies. Nox went right. I didn't let Thor hit those, unfortunately, but he still got the XP. Let's see, 
over here, Nox. Blue buff is down. Speed buff is still up. Nope. Speed buff is it's down. Enemy has been slain. They managed to pick it up before we could. Shot a word right here. Just gonna do some pretty brutal damage to the Nox right there, and they're gonna surrender. I actually still did less damage than the Shiba Lanke. I went 4 1 and 2. I played the Nox in lane. I did get killed by the Sir Ket early on in the game. Got a nice gank by her. But she tried to gank me again, and I did not make it. And I hit, hit her with my 2 and escaped easily. As a whole, my team played very well, so we didn't it didn't the game didn't really drag on too long. Went 4 1 and 2. Thor had a great game, went 2 0 oh, and 3. Guan Yu as well, 2 0 oh, and 4, getting first blood. Shibalanke 3 2 and 1, and Ra 1 1 and 1. Shibalanke doing what he needs to do. A lot of damage for how long the game lasted. Alright, did 5 5700 5, for as long as the game lasted. Not too bad, not too bad. Pretty good stats overall. Place three wards. Probably could have placed another one because I had I had I had the gold to place maybe two more wards, but no problems there. So this has been the SPN game, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Baby, come back.